I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see it with an audience tonight. It'll be the first time I've done that. I've seen it with Piper and Tegan, and we we know what happens. So it's nice for us to see it, but. I can't wait to see people, I can't wait for people to see it with fresh eyes. Yeah, I think shared experience is everything. And uh, and also a movie like this, which is like PG-13, you can watch it with your whole family, which is a great bonding experience as well. Like I know that from my time on The Walking Dead, that it really bonded families together and they watched it every week. And this movie is, is very similar to that. And you can all go to the cinema and watch it with a hundred other people, which is great. I think he's a very surprising bear. He has some tricks up his sleeve. Chauncey has a lot more secrets to hide than uh, the zombies do. The zombies are kind of in your face and right there. But Chauncey appears to be one thing and ends up being quite something else. Yeah, I mean, it was wonderful. Like, it's quite a small cast. So you really uh, get to spend some time with people and, you know, Walking Dead was a huge ensemble. This is very much like it's five of us, you know, it's the family and then Betty Buckley and Matt Sato is on there. But like there's the tight family at the center and and the casting was so great. Like everyone fit together really well. And, and um, yeah, it was all very easy as far as that goes. I'm beyond excited. You know, I feel like what we've created is a Trojan horse horror movie. So I'm really thrilled that people are going to come in and they're going to get the scares. They're going to get the horror, but they're going to come away with a lot more. Jessica is one of the most eager, needy, beautifully vulnerable characters I've ever played. And I'm so excited for, you know, not only audiences to meet her, but also to be on a journey with her. You know, it was really important for me to play the kind of horror movie protagonist that you care about, that you want to see make it to the end. Uh, and honestly, it was just a real joy to be able to be brought into the process from the very beginning, you know what I mean? To help design the kids' books, to help, you know, uh, put the costumes together and make sure that we were all telling a cohesive story. We had to create a villain that was really adorable because otherwise a child would not pick him up from a basement. She would just throw him in the trash, you know what I mean? Or just be like, what is this scary looking thing? So he had to be cute, but he's just a little bit off. No, I did not, but I did play make-believe a whole lot, which is kind of how I got here. You know what I mean? I'm very excited, and it's it's exciting because it's my first big movie, and I get to see myself on the big screen, so and that's been a very big dream of mine since I was very little. Well, you know, Alice started off kind of lonely, and without Chauncey, she was by herself, and then when she met Chauncey, she got to do this very fun and exciting scavenger hunt list, and then... The bear takes her on a very, very exciting journey, and chaos ensues. <laughs> oh, me personally, I would describe him as very sinister. Sinister, yeah. Dewanda is an amazing woman and someone I can really look up to, and Jeff is just a ball of energy. And then everybody else is just... I, I'm so honored to work with everyone, and it was really exciting. Well, for Taylor, I think at the very start, she's very unlikable, very very aggressive, defiant, and all that to everyone. And towards the end, we start to really see her shift and start to see her kind of rely on her fellow uh, fellow family and really start to see them connect and everything. Yes, I think for me, it was like when I first got on set, I was like, Okay, I really got to step up my game here. Everyone's so talented and everyone's such a great group of people and Jeff especially was so incredible to work with. I think seeing Chauncey just in what he does and how he acts is pretty terrifying and just seeing Chauncey in general is terrifying as a whole. <laughs> I mean, I think for horror films in general, it's getting to watch that with an audience and getting to experience all those twists and those those jump scares together. And I feel like you're getting to eat all this candy and popcorn and everything, and it's dark and loud and everything. There was no imaginary friend. I had three brothers, so I was I was kept company. <laughs> I'm really excited. It it kind of we shot it last year in New Orleans for two months right before the strike came, and uh, yeah, it, it, they brought it together really fast, so I'm very excited to see it. Chauncey Bear, well, there are several incarnations of Chauncey Bear. Uh, he's uh, benign as you first meet him and has a little bit of charm, and then he gradually becomes more sinister, so. Well, she was the family's babysitter uh, years and years ago, and she's a neighbor, and she had this experience with Jessica, who's played by the wonderful DeWanda Wise and that kind of really inspired her to study the occult and shamanism and spiritualism and all this stuff. So she's put together all these theories, discovering that there are imaginary friends, friends in every culture. Because of the group experience, you know, it's quite, it's different to see them in isolation. Our director is a very funny guy and the way he builds suspense and with his wit and sense of humor, 
it's really fun. So I can't wait to see it in front of an audience. Chauncey Bear is like, you know, the, the perfect imaginary friend that like you want as a kid. And I think that it's just a perfect metaphor for like the things that we cling to um, that turn on us, <laughs> that are our bad vices, our bad habits. And uh, he's super scary. So watch out. Piper is just full of energy. She's like so brilliant on camera, but in person, she's just such a wonderful person, so full of energy. Oh, it's so much more exciting to see it with a group of people that all have that sort of like tension and energy and and those scares. Just like it's the big screen is the way to do it. I didn't. I had a twin. So she was just always there. <laughs> always my friend. <laughs> I could not be more excited about sharing the film with audiences. It's meant to be seen in theaters, and it's uh, going to be in theaters March 8th. So uh, I have a first look deal at Blumhouse. I made two movies with them, and Jason challenged me to make a classic Blumhouse film, a family in a house at night, there's a bump, that kind of story. And I wanted to make a movie about an imaginary friend, and then my co-writers, Greg and Jason, wanted to uh, make a movie about an evil teddy bear, and those three points of inspiration created imaginary. We could not have asked for a better cast. Uh, Betty Buckley was actually the first cast, the iconic Betty Buckley. She emailed Jason, said, do you have a movie for me? And he emailed me and said, can she play Gloria? And I said, will she play Gloria, please? Dewanda Wise is our leading lady and executive producer, uh, just an incredible partner, so fantastic in the movie. Uh, Piper Braun and Tegan Burns are two young actresses, and they just killed it in every scene. And then we have an amazing supporting cast, uh, Veronica Falcone, Matt Sato, um, uh, uh, Tom Payne. I mean, it's like an embarrassment of riches. Chauncey is a diva. He's very difficult to work with, uh, but he serves an important role in the film. He is our classic horror movie villain. You know, there's a, a very rich history of haunted toy films, right? Chucky, um, Annabelle, Megan, and Chauncey hopefully is now going to be the newest and baddest member of that exclusive club. Uh, well, I was a film nerd, so all my friends were imaginary, uh, and I certainly thought about what I felt like when I was a kid, imagining all these fantastical wor worlds, uh, certainly when we were creating the Never Ever, and I just feel so lucky that I get to do that as a job now. Horror films are meant to be seen in theaters because it is all about that communal experience. It's all about laughing together, feeling things for the characters together, and then being really scared together. I'm excited for me. I haven't seen it yet, um, but it's it's incredible. I mean, this Chauncey is all over town. This teddy bear is everywhere. There's the, you know the playhouses down the street, and. You know, all my friends and family have been calling me like, what's this, what is this imaginary, and like, you gotta go and see it. It's, it's, you know, a really special thing. Anytime Blumhouse calls me, it's, I know it's gonna be a special project. So I'm excited to be here, be part of this film. He's cuddly, but he's not someone you wanna hug. It, it, was, it was a tricky dance between being this cute, cuddly version of a teddy bear, but also this horrific, terrible thing uh, that will kill you if you get too close to it. I did a significant amount of training. You know, I was wearing weighted vests and I was um, pulling weighted like sleds for my training just in preparation for I don't you know how long I'm gonna be on all fours Jeff our amazing director what he was gonna he's a pro athlete so you don't know what he's gonna put you through um, but I have you know I'm a pro athlete in my past life um, via professional basketball so I just treated it like this is uh, the new season for basketball I'm delighted that we get to be here at a movie theater and everyone else gets to experience that as well. It's, it's special and it's really important. It's important for everyone to go back into the theater. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, it's been how many months now? I, I'm just super excited. I got to shoot this in Louisiana, so I got to go there for the first time, and that was super cool for me. On top of that, it's my first horror film, so it's like a bunch of firsts, and yeah, this was super fun for me, and I'm just, I'm excited to see it. This is going to be my first time seeing it. Because that's that's how you get the full experience. I mean, it's a scary movie. I know my home theater system is not nearly as good as the real theater. And scary movies are one of those things that you have to go to the theater and watch if you want the full experience. You can't watch it at home and be like, oh, I wasn't that scared. You got to go see it in theaters, get the real experience. Terrifying. I mean, you'll you'll, I mean, you'll see in the film like like, Chauncey does not, does not love me.
honestly, it was really cool to see the way that they did it all and and the way that they work with the bear was so interesting because it's like we all talk about this bear as if it's a real human. We're like, don't look at Chauncey. He's a diva. Excited, excited. Ever since COVID, it's like great to uh, have movies in movie theaters and uh, it's uh, it's still very fun and very exciting. So, uh, so I'm very glad we've been waiting a long time. So I can't wait for it to actually happen. Horror movies are great to see in the theater because you're not holding a phone or to focus on something else. So if you want to be really scared, the way to be really scared is to see a horror movie in a movie theater. Most people won't go to horror to get scared. So that's the way to see it. Imaginary is a great horror movie because the scariest thing that you can, the, the, what, what we're most scared of is things that we conjure in our minds, not things you actually see. So Imaginary is a movie about that and, uh, and that gets under, pe under people's skin, so that's great. Well, it's our third collaboration with Jeff Wadlow. I really, we had been doing a, a, a handful of not supernatural horror, and I wanted to go back to supernatural horror, which was kind of our roots, paranormal activity, insidious. Those were all supernatural horror. So I wanted to do the 2024 version of those movies. I mean, we had Megan, we had Megan, we had Fe we had Freddy's, so I felt like it was time for a little teddy bear to uh, get its day in the sun. <laughs> Jaws, he goes through a lot, and I think he's. A, I think it's great to have a bear because it's. Most people had a teddy bear of some sort, and so to make that scary is very threatening and gets under people's skin. So I, I'm very happy with our with our Chauncey. Yeah, it was great. Uh, we our first the first actress we had in was Duanda, who 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 does such a great job and was also our producing partner on the movie. And then uh, we have a great casting department at Blumhouse run by Terry Taylor, who put together the rest of the cast with Jeff and uh, Betty. We had actually done Split with. So um, it was great to have her back. Hopefully we'll do a lot more movies with her. And she does such a good job selling something that's very hard to sell in this movie. You really believe her when she does it. She's a great actress and all the actors are so good.